guys welcome back okay so it's haul time you guys I've been doing the most I've been doing way too much and it's time for me to just kind of do a haul video so I can move on with my life <laughs> I mean, let me just show you guys what I'm about to go through okay this is the basket of stuff that I'm about to go through with you guys and I have some stuff right here sitting in front of me so I'm going to try to do this quick, fast, in a hurry. I'm just going to show you guys. If I've used it, I'll say I used it. And there's a video out. And if not, it'll be coming. <laughs> so let's just jump right in. There's no rhyme or reason either because I have some stuff from Ulta. Some stuff from ColourPop. Just whatever. I don't know. Online, AliExpress. But I just want to kind of go through so I can put this stuff away and start using it. So... Let me start off with what I actually have on my face today. I don't know if this video is going to be up first or the haul video or the makeup video. But I did pick up the Nubian 3 from Juvia's Place, the Coral Palette. So that's what she looks like. I know you guys know what she looks like. So I did pick her up. I also picked up a shade of the foundation. So I did get just one. I got lucky because I think it's a pretty good match. It is in the shade Burkina. So like I said, I do have a video for this. I don't know which one will be up first, but I just want to get that out the way. Now this next item is my Sephora Pro Face Palette. I did use this in a couple of videos. I know one of them is up already. I don't know if the next one will be up, but I got the Deep. This is what the Deep looks like. Y'all, this palette is everything. I love it. But what I am noticing is that this contour shade, the dark one, is very dark. It's actually too dark for me. So I have to go in extremely light to use that contour because it's really, really dark and it's extremely pigmented. So if you get this palette, take a look at the medium if you're my skin tone or lighter because this might be a little dark for you but they have different color schemes so it's kind of hard to choose i'm glad that i got this one even though it is a bit dark just because of the fact that i love the color scheme of this palette y'all so i don't regret that at all so these are the lashes that i got i did get three different designs or three different styles I guess and you get seven pair in each pack and I thought that was a good deal for like six bucks or whatever I paid from AliExpress so I just got them so I could play around in them and you know just have a little fun see what happens y'all know if they give me too much trouble I ain't fooling with them no more okay I did buy some more glue and another applicator also okay now look I bought a bunch of stuff from Ulta in different orders. So this order here, let me just go through and, and show y'all what I got. Now the first three items, you, you know what, Mac, they need they butt whooped, okay? I purchased these three new scents of the Mac setting sprays. I got the pineapple one. I got the watermelon one. And I also purchased the oh peony. So I also got the peony one, okay? The floral one, I guess. Now, in the picture, online, Instagram, trend move, whatever, the bottles did not look this small. And so, of course, it's my fault because I didn't check the size of them. But these little baby bottles were $16 each, okay? And I did contemplate taking them back. But these mugs smell good, y'all. <laughs> They smell good. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep them. I'm going to go ahead and take this L. But, just FYI, if you're thinking about purchasing these, these are small. Very small, okay? Little itty bitty travel size bottles. So, I did get those. And also, in this Ulta order, I did want... I have been wanting to try the Elf Camel Concealer. So, I did pick up two different shades now my girls told me that these mugs are super duper matte and i did swatch them and yes they are matte so i might not like them i do like matte foundation and matte concealer but i don't like my concealer to be too dry to where i can't even blend it out so these might be a problem for me but i did get deep chestnut and deep cinnamon so i got these two shades to try We'll see how I like them or not. And lastly, in this order, I did want to try out some new lip glosses. I love 
lip gloss and I'm trying to find a dupe for <laughs> the Fenty Gloss Balm. These are some Essence Lip Shines. They're the Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Glosses and I got two shades of these. So I did try them out on my lips and they feel very, very comfortable. They're not super sticky. You know, when you press your lips together and you get that string, it's not like that at all. They are very comfortable and I actually really like these. So you know and they were only like $2.99 so you know you can't beat that for a nice little summer lip gloss and they do have uh just a little hint of color to it i don't know if you guys can see that but this one here i really really like because it's just like a gloss with a pretty sheen to it this one has a little bit of a pink hue so i really like those you know okay I definitely am going to see how these work out because if I could save $18, that's what your girl gonna do. <laughs> okay, so next, this item is one that I just actually picked up from, um, you know how for a boxy charm, well, if you have boxy charm or boxy lux, they do have the charm room, and for the most part, they don't never have anything in there I want. I just don't. Or if they do put good stuff in there, it's gone like within the first three minutes. And I don't even know that the charm room is open. So for the most part, I just hold on to my points and wait. But this is one that I ordered from BoxyCharm. And it looks like the box got into a fight. Okay, when it came to my house, it looked like the mailman kick, played kickball with my box. But <laughs> I did go ahead and order this from BoxyCharm. It is the Skin & Co. Fresh Lavender. It's like a, what is it, a hand lotion? and it's made in Italy so I did pick this up because you know you can't go wrong with a lotion I mean the bottle is really really cute fresh lavender so they finally had something in the charm room that I wanted to try so this is a body lotion okay you guys I want to go ahead and show you some of the palettes that I picked up over the last month or so like I said it might be some in here that I used but honestly it looks like it's just this one that I have in my hand and it's the jam rock rebirth palette from playing and makeup with Yolando I did do a video on this palette and I really really like how the look turned out and the palette performed very nicely as you can see these colors are just bomb so I will go ahead and link the video for this palette up above so you can check it out if you are interested but you guys this palette is the bomb okay next I purchased the two latest palettes from Milani it's the Gilded Noir and the Gilded Rouge so I did pick these two palettes up a little while ago haven't gotten around to using them but let me go ahead and just show you what they look like so the actual palettes themselves are cardboard they have the same design as on the box and so this one is the Gilded Rouge the one that has kind of like the purples and burgundies in it Gilded Rouge and this one is the Gilded Noir and for the Gilded Rouge I did play around in it some I created a look I wasn't in love with it so I'm going to create another look when I do a video on these I might end up using the Gilded Noir <laughs> instead but this is what they look like just in case you're curious but I do plan on doing a video using these very soon okay so next I got these two palettes from LA girl and they both say hot hot heat I don't know if they have two different names I can't find the separate names because it's two different palettes with two different color schemes okay <laughs> so I don't know why they both are hot hot heat but I guess there's like different you know groupings of palettes that they have but let me just go ahead and show you this one this one has the blue and purple cover on it y'all these palettes I'm telling you Ooh, child. so this is the one that has the blue and purple um, covering on it so as you can see it has more of kind of like a blue teal turquoise cool tone theme to it gorgeous can't wait to use it and this one here has the kind of pink and purple covering and this is what she looks like so she's a little bit more warm tone have your plums also some purples but it has your browns and tans and golds in here as opposed to the other one so this one is super duper cute as well and yes i'm going to play with both of these now with those la girl palettes i was like i couldn't find them anywhere everybody was looking for them at cvs and online and stuff they were sold out and then another amazing creator here on youtube her name is tasha st james i will link her channel above she's really really sweet you guys 
just she has a great channel I like her bubbly spirit she's really really cute and enthusiastic she does some beautiful eye looks so anyways she was like you know she messaged me she was like girl they got them on sale at Ulta they're at, they're at Ulta you can get them hurry up go order them so that's what I did so thank you Tasha <laughs> okay so next I have this palette I ordered the palette from <sighs> Sephora or was it Ulta girl hot mess I can't even remember anyways it's the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette I did order the palette I wanted to get the whole PR kit but I wasn't in the mood to spend a hundred dollars so I just got the palette from Ulta or Sephora one of them and as soon as I ordered the palette ABH sent me an email talking about the fan was in stock so if you guys don't know what was in the PR kit there was a fan and a really really pretty mirror in the PR kit and I really didn't care about the mirror but I really really wanted the fan <laughs> So when I saw that the fan was back in stock and I could order it separately, I went ahead and ordered the fan. But this is what the Alyssa Edwards palette looks like from ABH. Very pretty, colorful. You guys know this is right up my alley, okay? So I did order that. And let me go ahead and show you guys the fan that I just could not resist. This is the fan. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see the whole thing but this is the fan you guys okay so it's just an open and closed fan like that it says beast on it and I just had to have it had to have it I wanted it when I first saw people getting it in their PR kits but then I saw it's Lori's life Miss Lori <laughs> I saw her with it and I was like, mm -mm, I want it. I'm getting it. Okay, so yeah, I went ahead and ordered the fan separately. Next palette I have is one from an indie brand. This is from Lick and Lash and it's the Lick and Lash Beauty Playful Palette. It comes in this pretty bright, super light pink uh, unicarton that you slide it out of like so. And... I've been wanting this palette forever you guys but I just never bit the bullet to pay for it because I don't remember the exact price but I know it ain't cheap but you guys know I love me some indie brands okay and I will shell out some coin for an indie palette so this is what she looks like there's a mirror inside as you can see but the colors for this palette you guys okay just check it out the purples the greens the blues you know you guys know this is right up my alley so yeah I did go ahead bite the bullet and pick it up I do want to compare this palette though to certified palettes because you know certified has that purple one and then they have that blue and green one so I do want to compare it to that so one of these days I will get around to comparing this palette to those two palettes combined okay so this next palette is one that I totally forgot that I even ordered because it was a peer pressure palette okay this is a revolution and Roxy or rocks Soros highlight and contour palette so this is what the box looks like and I love trying out revolution products because sometimes you find a gem a real gem but their packaging is great the quality is usually pretty decent for the pricing so I really do like trying revolution products so this is what it looks like very very pretty I don't even know who rocks Soros is a lot of times I'll buy stuff, these collab palettes, and I don't even know who the person is. But, ooh, okay. So this is what the palette looks like. It looks like a really pretty highlight contour bronzing palette. I don't know how these shades are going to work for me. This dark one definitely will work for me. I think that would be a nice contour since I don't like it to be so deep. And that actually looks like it will bronze me up a little bit. So these highlights are really pretty. Let's see what's happening. Okay. Yeah, those are pretty. Those are pretty, not bad. So yeah, I got this palette as well from Ulta. It is the Revolution Roxy Roxasaurus Highlight and Contour Palette. <laughs> If that ain't a mouthful, I don't know what is. Okay. Okay. Okay, next two palettes were actually gifts. So they probably shouldn't even be in my haul, but you know what? I don't care. They was gifts. They was given to me by my beautiful friends. So I'm showing them in my haul. <laughs> 
if I can get it open. Okay, first one is this Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Okay, I did do a video on this. I will link it up above, okay, for you to check out if you haven't seen it. And this is what the palette looks like. It was given to me by my girl DJ from Just Peachy D. And this palette is the bomb. It's so freaking pretty. I've only used it the one time so far, but... I can't wait to dive into this. It's just, it reminds me of just a big, just delicious, juicy peach, okay? It's super duper pretty, but this palette was given to me. Love it, love it, love it. And this palette I just got from my girl, Lily, okay? From Lily Living Life. It is the latest Melt palette. What is the name of this palette? Okay, I don't even know the name of it. I just know that when I saw it, I had to have it. Impulsive, okay. <laughs> if that don't describe the three of us, I don't know what does. <laughs> When it comes to makeup, we show up as impulsive. So the packaging is really cute, okay? It has all the little pictures on there. But y'all, this palette is very, very unique. The way that it is designed, the packaging is gorgeous. As you can see, it shows the different colors that are in the palette. But it's a really unique setup. When you open it up, it's like, it's stair stacked. I don't know if you can see that, but it's stair stacked. And so to keep the shades separate, this might drive somebody else crazy just because of the fact that it is not your typical palette layout. And it might be a little hard to, you know, maneuver, but they put the little plastics in between, you know, each section just to make sure they don't touch or get messed up but you guys look at this palette aren't those colors gorgeous they are so freaking pretty oh my gosh this is just bomb it's actually an early birthday gift <laughs> super early birthday gift but thank you Lily. okay thank you so it is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm very thankful and blessed to have this. And I cannot wait to use it, you guys. Y'all let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited about me using this palette. If you really want to see it. Because I am excited to use it. It's really, really cool. And I can't wait to try it out. Ooh, y'all. It's getting hot. But y'all know I can't turn the air on. I don't like having the air blaring in the background. Press, 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 press. Caught it on Nemo Press. Okay, so a few more things that I got from Ulta. Look, <laughs> my girls tried to warn me. I picked up one of the Morphe foundations. They tried to warn me. They was like, girl, don't use that mess. You're going to be green. It ain't going to work. Uh-uh. But, you know, I just, curiosity was killing me. So I ordered one of the Morphe foundations. And I did try it out on my face. And I did look green. <laughs> So, I am going to be returning this. I got the color F4.20. So, yeah. I don't like it. It's going back expeditiously, okay? I also picked up another foundation. This is a Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. Is it full coverage? Liquid Coverage Foundation. So, I did want to try this out. You know, Catrice, I heard a lot of good things about their products and it's very inexpensive. I don't know how much this was, like 10 bucks or something. But I did go ahead and swatch this and the color match looks pretty good for me. So, I am going to try this out in a video. Um, I got 085 Chestnut Beige. Now, their uh, shade range is atrocious. I think this one is like the second to the darkest shade. So, I'm going to try this out for you guys. I also got a backup of this CoverGirl Matte Made Foundation. I tried this when I was out of town and y'all know I like it. I've been using it over and over and over again. Testing it out with different primers, different powders, different concealers, different setting sprays. And I like this foundation a lot. I like it a lot, so I did get me a backup. I also picked up another <laughs> suggestion from my girl DJ. I picked up this Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. And as you and can see, this ain't gonna bronze nothing on me, okay? Super duper light, and she was like, I told you, it's good for the under eyes. It's good for the under eyes. So that makes sense to me, that this would be good for my under eyes. So I'm gonna try this out. I don't typically use a pressed powder for under my eyes. I use a loose powder for under my eyes as well, but this will be something different I can try, you know, to brighten it up a bit. 
and see if I like it. So I did pick that up. I also got another Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray, y'all. This stuff is bomb. Even as bomb as it is, I still think it's overpriced because it's what, like 16 bucks or something? And this can does not last long, but I did go ahead and get me another one because I love it. I'm addicted. I don't know what it is. I think I was really kind of feeling trying out different setting sprays because like I said, I knew when these MAC ones came out that I was definitely getting those, but I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. I saw Lily using this and she seemed to love it to Look death. Look at this packaging, you guys. How can you resist this packaging? It is like super duper cute with the whole glitter situation going on. But I actually sprayed this when I went into Sephora, I think, like a few weeks ago, about a month ago probably. And I was like, I want that. So I went ahead and ordered it got me one so I can try it out. Now I also got a bunch of masks from uh, Ulta. I, you guys know I love face masks. Oh my gosh I love them so much and the Freeman masks are just so inexpensive that it's like you can try every flavor and it's like going to be so cost effective okay. So I did order <laughs> quite a few more Freeman masks and let me just show you the ones that I got. And these are all new to me. I haven't tried any of these flavors, okay? This one is the Oil Absorbing Mint and Lemon Clay Mask. So this is what she looks like. Cute little yellow tube. So this one is a clay mask. This one here is the Clearing Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Off Clay Mask. Now, I love a good peel off mask. Peel off masks are actually my favorite, but sometimes the peel off clay masks kind of hurt. <laughs> and you know what? Now that I think about it, I think this is one that I have tried and I do really like it, but it does, they do hurt sometimes coming off. This one is the Revitalizing Pomegranate Peel-Off Gel Mask. Now, I do prefer the peel-off gel mask because they typically don't hurt. So, this is one that I'm really excited to try, the pomegranate, and see how I like it. And lastly, I got the Polishing Charcoal and Black Sugar Gel Mask and Scrub. So, this sounds like one where you put it on, let it dry, and then when you go to rinse it off, it turns into a scrub. That's what it sounds like to me. Usually that's how the mask slash scrubs are. So this one is probably going to be really good for my skin as well because I do love a good charcoal mask. So I got those. I also picked up one of my favorite daily face washes from e.l.f. This is just the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser. I've been using this for years and I love how it just, it's just a basic daily cleanser. This is one that I like to use when I'm not wearing any makeup or anything. So it just gives my face a good cleansing and it's very, very nice. And I also picked up this Raspberry Sorbet from Philosophy and this is a shampoo, shower gel and bubble bath. So it has several different uses and it sounds like it smells really good. I haven't smelled it yet. It's still taped up and everything, but it sounds like it is going to smell really good. I don't think I've tried, can't really smell it through there. I don't think I've tried any philosophy bubble baths or shower gels. Oh, <laughs> that smells good. Oh, that smells good. Okay, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So I did pick this up from Ulta as well. Now you guys know that a lot of times when you order things from Ulta, they will have like gift with purchase or, you know, they might have different sample packs and stuff that they'll send you. Or if you purchase certain things, they will throw in, you know, they have freebies attached to it. So I don't even know what it is that I purchased that had these freebies attached to it, but I want to just show you. I did get a free Maybelline Great Lash Mascara from something that I bought. I also got a free Catrice blush from something that I bought. And this one is in the color Berry. So it's a really cute like summer shade. Probably go good with the coral look I have on right now. 
I also got this cute little makeup bag from CoverGirl. So I'm pretty sure I got this when I purchased that backup of that CoverGirl foundation that I got. But it's a cute little silver makeup bag. So this will probably be in a giveaway that I have. You guys, I haven't had a giveaway in quite a while. And you guys know I love doing giveaways. So I'm trying to come up with something that I can do for a giveaway. So expect one pretty soon now Milani also was giving away stuff with their orders so those two Milani palettes that I ordered they sent out um, this cute little baggie of goodies and in this baggie I got one of their ultimate eyeliners okay you can never go wrong with an eyeliner I also got a free setting spray this is the make it last matte setting spray so I'm not mad at that and I also got a free blush, okay? And this one is... Luminoso. <laughs> Luminoso. So this is the shade on that blush. So it's a very, very light blush. Very faint blush. But, you know, could be really pretty. Okay, and speaking of freebies, now, like I said, with Ulta, sometimes you purchase things and they have different goodie bags or sample packs and stuff that if you purchase a certain amount you can get it now when I placed my order with my 20% off I did go ahead and grab this goodie bag it was free with a $30 purchase and there's all kind of stuff in here you guys I'm not gonna go through the whole bag because this video is gonna be forever but there's shampoos conditioners primers face creams mascaras just all kind of goodies there's even like a sample highlighter a uh, triple highlighter in here and the little bag is pretty cute too so Ulta had this going on so make sure you guys when you are placing orders with Ulta or buying things that always check the sales section the gift with purchase the freebies all of that stuff because you don't know what you might be missing out on and you already placing an order anyway so make sure you check for those things so I'm really happy about this nice samples and like I said it's a lot of really nice goodies in here now we're on the home stretch. I only have two more things, you guys. Now these, <laughs> I purchased these from a brand online. I'm not that familiar with them. I think I have one eyeshadow palette maybe from them. And they're called Amor Us. And so they have these like lipstick sets. And I purchased two different sets. They're all in this one little bag, but I purchased two sets. One is a colorful set and one is a nude set. And you get five lipsticks in each set. So this is the two sets together. And y'all, I don't know. I really wanted to just purchase some lipsticks and do like a, a lip swatch video of some inexpensive lipsticks. Now each of these sets was only $10, which means the lipsticks were two bucks a piece, okay? Now y'all, I was really just curious. I was being funny when I purchased these lipsticks because I wanted to see if I purchased a $2 lipstick online and went ahead, tried it out, opened it up, swatched it, you know, looked at it. I wanted to know if it might have hair on it or not. I was curious, is it gonna have hair? Is it gonna have fuzz, fur, holes, whatever? And I didn't find anything on these $2 lipsticks, you guys. I didn't see any fur, I didn't see any hair, I didn't see any holes. So, you know, they look pretty decent to me. So y'all let me know, do you see any fur? Do you see any hair? I don't see any. And this was only $2, so. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't got no sense. But anyway, so yeah, I did. I purchased all these lipsticks. They were only two bucks a pop. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do a little try on, a lip try on for you guys. So if you are looking for some inexpensive lipsticks, maybe you can get some for two dollars a pop. Okay. And last but not least, I did go ahead and purchase the Shayla Proceed with Caution PR set, I guess, <laughs> where it has the eyeshadow, the two blushes I believe and the two lip kits with the lip liner and the lipstick so it's a really really cute little thing it took forever for it to get to me I don't know Colourpop was on the the slow boat with this one but this is what the little pack looks like it has the you know the eyeshadow the two lip kits and then the two blushes so I'm really excited to try this out also you guys because 
even though the palette is not really something that's typically my style, I've seen some bomb looks done with that palette. So I really want to try it out. And this play is what in this it. palette looks like has that beautiful summer yellow in there. You can definitely do some smoky looks. It has the gorgeous gold shimmer shades in here. So I really think that I can create a very beautiful look with this palette. So I am going to do a video using everything in here. The palette, the blushes, the lipsticks, the lip liners, and whatnot. Okay? <laughs> so that is it for my haul you guys that's everything that i have received in the mail thus far <laughs> i do have a few other things that's coming but i'll just show y'all those in a video using it so anyway thanks so much for hanging out with me you guys i hope you had a good time and let me know down in the comments below if you guys picked up any of these items if you plan on buying them if there's something in particular that you really really want me to try out like asap let me know that and i'll try and squeeze it in okay so anyway thank you guys have a great day and i will see you on my next video toodles